guys, uh, I want to run through the uh, contents of my first aid kit. Um, here, open up. Okay, this is the first aid kit. This is uh, an American Red Cross first aid kit bag, but I added my own contents to this, um, including the stuff that came with it. I got this in like a com a contest thing. Or I won it somehow. And then, uh, so yeah, this is my first aid kit, along with this first aid kit, uh, which was mainly designed for, like, backpacking. Uh, always carry ace bandage. And then, uh, some, like, chapstick for, uh, multi-uses. Uh, it just has, like, SPF in it, SPF 15, so that'll help. So, uh, and then a survival blanket. Um, by the way, just looking at this real quick, this is emergency survival blanket from Target. It was one buck, uh, one buck, and, uh, it, it's pretty good, so, I would say, you know, if you want one, if they still have it, check out your Target, and, uh, see if they have these. Because, uh, it's pretty much the same size as the more expensive ones, and just as good, so. Alright, so I go into my first aid kit. As I said, the, like, American Red Cross first aid kit bag. Alright, so first thing, there is a little tiny hand sanitizer bottle, I put duct tape so it wouldn't come unscrewed or get open, but uh, inside is ammonia for uh, bee stings and stuff to neutralize the venom. Uh, then inside this is a little thing from a pen uh, cap, I just taped off both ends, it's one of these like zebra pens or something. Uh, this is a powdered aluminum, which helps stop bleeding for minor cuts and stuff. So, uh, it's, it's pretty good. You can just buy this in your, like, spice department. Because I think they use it for pickling. Uh, this, I mean, I'm going to add more, uh, but ibuprofen. So, it's a good thing to have. Just, uh, headaches, things like that. And, uh, if you get injured. Alright. Uh, in here, this is one of the Q-tip things so i took off the cotton ends and uh wrapped the thing in a lot like plenty of uh this really thin uh plastic threading for uh you know like stitching someone up if you need to this is obviously you know not the best not made for it but it'll work uh, inside the tube i have two uh two different size needles one's a little bigger one's like smaller as i said they're inside there and, um, yeah. So I, uh, put tape around the, uh, thread and stuff to keep it from coming undone. Yeah, oh, and to keep the needles in, I, uh, you can't really see it, but I, uh, threaded the needles on the same string, tied off that string, then I stuck the two needles inside the tube, and left the string hanging out, and then I taped over that string, so it's easy to pull the needles out, because otherwise you'll have some trouble. So that's for, uh, stitching someone up. Okay, this in here is basically what came with the first aid kit when I bought it. Or, well, I didn't buy it, but when I got it. Uh, I'll read the contents. It's on the back. Um, this has... Uh, well, okay. What this came with... Uh, okay, in here, an instant ice pack. So, uh, yeah. Then in here, it has... Two BZK towelettes, two non-adherent uh, bandages, two by three inches. Um, it has first aid tape, which is a half an inch by 2.5 yards. One rolled gauze, uh, two inches by four yards. One adhesive, or ten adhesive bandages, sorry. Um, these are uh, three-fourths of an inch by three inches. Uh, one fingertip bandage, which, you know, I don't find that useful. One knuckle bandage, don't find that very useful either, but I'll keep it, because there's only one, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, one pair of vinyl gloves. Um, I didn't actually know it had some gloves in there. I already put some in here, but uh, a little pack of 
uh, antibiotic ointment, which is 0.9 grams, uh, which I really don't think is that great, so I put some in there as well. Uh, I'll just run through. Okay, uh, one emergency uh, action steps wallet card, and uh, one drug facts trifold card. Alright, so uh, here's the trifold, I think, first aid guide, I guess. So uh, that, that's good to have. You need to know your first aid anyway, so, so you should learn it. But in case someone else is using a first aid kit or you uh, you, you, you forget something or something, that's good to have. All right, I added some more bandages or, yeah, band-aids, whatever. I uh, added a couple more of those. <clears throat> Here's the uh, little tube of antibiotic stuff it comes with. I uh, added more. I'll show you a little bit. Um, some aloe vera gel I added. Some of these moist towelettes you get at restaurants. Just, uh, I don't know, keep things clean. Not really for the wound that much. Um, some Benadryl, two of them. You could probably add a little more, but that's pretty good. Uh, okay, in here, another one of those zebra pens I taped shut. Uh, zebra pen, like, metal things that come off. Uh, in here is antibiotic ointment I, uh, squeezed into there, so triple antibiotic ointment just like this but I thought you'd need more just in case some aluminum foil I don't totally know why I put that in there but you can find reasons it's good to have I guess in an emergency I don't know uh, some matches I guess you could sterilize the needles things like that and uh, matches are just good to have a uh, little blade I taped with a uh, so it keeps you from getting cut by it, but it's a little tiny like scalpel blade type of thing. Alka seltzer again for like headaches. Uh, I don't know. This is stuff, stomach aches, things like that. It has aspirin in it, so for older people, not kids. Um, this is like a sponge thing. Oh, th I wish I had an example. Um, this thing, I, uh, it used to be like a dollar thing I got. I don't know. Uh, but it's like that thin. And when you add water, it, like, grows to the size, you know, uh, the thickness of a sponge. I cut this. So that's good for absorbing blood, cleaning things. I don't know. It's, uh, it's so small. I put it in a uh, rubber glove. A latex glove. Another latex glove. Some uh, toenail clippers, fingernail clippers, um, whatever. These uh, I just got for, uh, I don't know, cutting away skin maybe, the, like a little flap, things like that. Um, I don't know, it, it's it's going to have, uh, so, yeah. Uh, I have some moleskin, three things of moleskin. Uh, obviously for backpacking, hiking, it's, uh, you need to have that, uh, just in case. Here's, a uh, Deep Woods Insect Repellent Towelette. Um, you know, just in case, uh, I could fit it in there, it's small enough. These things work pretty good, uh, so I guess if the bugs are really biting or stuff like that, that's good to have. Alright, and then, uh, that's all the contents of this first aid kit. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any additions I should add, I can't really fit much more in here, or something you should, uh, sh I should change or something, uh, just, yeah, leave a comment. Uh, yeah, alright, so, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching my video. See ya.